Here is how you escape from Dumaguete to this secret beach heaven. A Filipino friend in Dumaguete told us about this secret beach heaven about 70 minutes south of Dumaguete. We just got back from a few days there and we absolutely loved it. At the end of this video, I'll give you all the information you will need to take a break from your life in Dumaguete and go visit this beautiful place. We visited this secret beach heaven Tuesday through Friday of this week. The food is amazing and reasonably priced. I would describe every meal we had there as gourmet comfort food. They have both Western favorites and Filipino favorites. The resort was built by James and Nikki from the UK and they still own and operate it. They moved to the Philippines over 20 years ago and were working as dive masters on Apo Island. One day they went exploring uh, diving and ended up diving at the coral reef in front of this beautiful beach, which is how they found this place where you can now escape from Dumaguete to this secret beach heaven. So 19 years ago, they took a long-term lease on this land and built one of the most beautiful echo lodges I've ever seen. They can take you diving if you like, or you can just relax as we did in one of the most beautiful scenes in the world. We were the only guests staying in the beach huts at their resort on Wednesday and Thursday night. The beach hut we stayed in was $33 per night for two people. The meals range from about 150 pesos to 250 or three to $5 US each. Uh, beers uh, were 65 pesos or $1.30 US. There's an interactive Google map you can use to escape from Dumagate to this secret beach heaven. And it's here on the webpage. Um, just click more information in the notes below this YouTube video. At that link, you'll find the phone number and email for James and Nikki so you can make reservations. Uh, plus a link to my free ebook explaining how I was able to fire my boss and travel the world for 13 years to 65 different countries. So we're celebrating 20,000 subscribers. Thanks so much. We're at a beach resort. Um, about an hour from Dumaguete. Uh, if you head south, and it has a beautiful beachfront, beautiful water. Um, we just had a nice lunch there in the clubhouse. And we are staying in a hut on the beach, which is up these stairs right here that I'll show you. Let's check it out. It's a two level. The ground floor is a shower and a toilet. Built into the rock. Um, even the shower is built into the rock. And then more stairs to get to the upper floor. It has a thatch roof. Hey beautiful, what are you doing? Nothing. You like it? Yes. Is it survivable? Yes. Okay, that's the door. This is the the bed. And there's a little balcony out front with a, a hammock. And there's a, a second bed up there. In case you have whatever friends or kids or whatever. And there's a mosquito net. And this, my friends, is what $33 a night will buy you. And oh, like in a gorgeous resort with beautiful food and uh, great view. What do you think, beautiful? Yes, very nice. Think we'll survive here? I don't think so. No? no. You think we'll die by pleasure or I a think meteorite? We'll die for by anything I don't know but I will be very enjoying here <laughs> in life it's not always easy to tell when you've arrived you know but there's a few key indicators <laughs> like if your feet are uh, in the sand while you eat dinner and you're eating a, a pizza and you're having 
tomato basil soup with chung hoi of Hobo Ventures. You probably, it's a good indication that you've made it in life. So here we are at the Coco Nest and trying out their food. It's our third meal and it's spectacular. And that's the resort behind us. And we're on the waterfront. I grab one of these plastic tables. I put it literally in the water. It's at our feet. The feet are in the sand. As evidence, it's $33 a night. A gorgeous bamboo hut. Anyway, we're gonna try this food out and we'll let you know how it goes. Tomato basil soup, $3. Come on, are you kidding me? On the beach. <laughs> Good to be king. Any questions? Any questions? Leave it in the comments section. We might answer. <laughs> oh, it's no lie here. We are the only one in the resort. Yeah, I just want to say that. Yeah. We are the only one in the resort. Beautiful. The color, purple, yeah. green, yeah. blue. Wow. We're suffering through a very undifficult situation here. Good morning. It's raining. So the nice thing about this beach is there's um, some privacy. Uh, you can, when you're facing the water from the resort, you can go left or right for some privacy. Uh, this uh, part here is, uh, if you go left, there's these sandy areas with large rocks, uh, and you could actually lay there if you're trying to get a tan without lines for example um, on both on either side uh, and um, uh, this one is if you walk left and then this side is uh, if you walk to the right this is what you'll see you have to wade through a little water to get to these private beaches on the right but this this is what you'll see and uh, Chung's a little camera shy so this is where we went to get uh, the beach photos of her and her bikinis uh, that uh, we show at the beginning of this film and it's really it's nice you just, you have the whole beach to yourself so we just woke up it's about 5 30 in the morning we thought we thought we'd come down to the uh, water put our feet in the water we wake up at five o'clock we just arrived from dark to bright yeah really beautiful look at the water
our cabin is that up there in the trees. It was a little windy and rainy last night, so they had the little white uh, plastic down over the restaurant. <sighs> we came here Tuesday um, and really enjoyed it, so we decided we would come uh, stay Wednesday through Friday. Now it's Friday morning, so we're heading back uh, to Jimmy Gecko uh, today, probably after breakfast. Or something. We hope that on the weekend it will be a lot of people. The place helps. They have limited for 30 people or 20 people, I can't remember. So everyone is coming on the Sunday and Saturday. And Sunday. Sunday is a crowded one. So I made a good choice. Yeah. We come on the weekday, there's no need to be um, pick with the people. We think we're the only ones that have been here. Um, and the owner, the owners, the British couple, yeah. are here, uh, at least spending the night. The staff is here during the day, um, and also a few customers come in. You can pay by the day, or you can spend the night in one of the cabins. Yeah. But we'll include all the information on the webpage, so you can come here. It's really a lovely place. We're, it's really a We're going to come back. Definitely, we will be back, because... You will go there, it's uh, heaven, there's no one over there. Oh yeah. And over there they have people stay, one big house, over there is no people. It's an empty beach on the right as you face the water. But you can walk along the water in both directions, which is yeah. kind of fun. There's these rocks over here on the left. We still didn't have a finish as far well around it. And the owner walks her dogs every morning, up all the way up onto that cliff over there. We haven't been that far yet. Thanks for watching our video. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner?